guys we are back with another one and as you can see by the title we're doing a legend today we're engraving a legend today we're engraving the late great great Dale Earnhardt who left this world in 2001 doing what he loved to do a lot of other people out there should take him for example and do what you love do what you love to do Live your life for you, not for anyone else. With that being said, we're going to start off by prepping this 11 by 14 canvas with a coat of Rust-Oleum Gloss White. We're going to hit it with one coat. It's going to be a heavy coat. We're going to go all the way to the top, and we're going to work our way all the way back down. Make sure it's shook up very well and bought out of paint, but we're going to make it work. All right, guys, as you see, I ran out of Gloss White. I went to Home Depot, Ace Hardware, everywhere. They did not have gloss white Rust-Oleum paint. So I'm going to have to try this big turbo can. I ain't going to run out no more. Turbo can. It's a gloss white, but it's a uh, protective enamel. And we're going to give it a try, man. It's a big turbo can. So we're going to go ahead and hit this thing with a coat of white. Got it shook up real well. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Boy, if you can't spray a whole canvas with that, boy. Okay, that's it. Turbo can. Hey, we're going to see if it works. We're going to let it dry, and then we're going to hit it with a coat of rust sodium gloss black. Y'all stick around. This can is crazy. All right, guys. Our white gloss is dry. I wish I had me one of those black turbo cans, but I do not. I only got gloss white. I should have got both. If you want to try the turbo can, which is crazy, spray a whole canvas in like 10 seconds. Go to Ace Hardware, they got white, black, all other colors, but white and black I know they have for sure. All right, we're gonna hit it with a coat of Rust-Oleum Gloss Black. Start at the bottom. Up, oh, and it popped out. We're just having bad paint day. Just bad paint day today. Hit it with this coat, my little handle popped off, but it ain't gonna stop the party. It's not gonna stop the party. There we go. We're gonna be burning Dale Earnhardt. Y'all stick around. It's gonna be an amazing burn. I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry. Then I'm gonna prep all my image and get and load it into light burn and get this burn started. All right, guys. This is the image that we chose to do today. I found it on Google, downloaded it. Send it to myself and just loaded it right into GIMP. I'm not going to do any editing or anything to this image. It's perfect like it is. We're going to go to the Big GIMP and plug in. All day we're going to run on is the Big GIMP. So we're going to be doing 254 DPI. Make sure you have a tile selected. We're changing the DPI here so our burn can be shorter. When you put 600 DPI here, and you go to put pass through and light burn. What happens is it pretty much it pretty much uh, makes your burn like 10, 12, 13 hours. So we're gonna change it to 254 here. We're gonna hit pass through, so we're gonna be actually burning 254. I mean, you can go from a range from 254 to 600 or whatever you may want, but the the higher your DPI, the longer your burn is gonna be. And if you don't know what DPI stand for, stands for, it's dot per inch. So, I mean, this picture right here, I believe 254 would be good. Some pictures you take with your camera, sometimes like, my, I heard like 70 DPI or stuff like that. But we're going to do 254. We're going to be doing 280 by 360, which is 11 by 14 canvas. We're going to hit OK and let the process process. Well, hold on. we got to go back because it didn't process. Now I'm going to hit OK. Let the process process. All right, we're good. We're going to hit control. All right. That's our burn, y'all. That is our burn. We're going to go to file. We're going to go to export as. And we're going to go, we're going to call it uh, Dale. Sounds good to me. We're going to go to desktop. We're going to save it in GIMP photos. And we're going to hit export. Quality's at 100%. We're going to hit export. 
and there we go. We saved it quick, fast, in a hurry. We're gonna um, we're gonna send it over to Lightburn, get everything set up, get our settings set up, um, and we're gonna start this amazing burn. Y'all stick around. All right, guys. So we got our image loaded into Lightburn. Um, we're gonna change our width and our height. Make sure it's unlocked right here. You're within your height. So we're going to change it to 274. We're going to change our height to 352. That's 11 by 14 canvas. So it'll be right around the border. If it's not right around the border, when I hit shift and frame, if it's not right around the border, I'll come back here and I'll adjust the width up or down or height up or down to make sure it can fit around whatever I'm burning on. So make sure your width and your height is how you adjust the size of your picture to make sure everything is right. When I engrave on an item, I I try to, whatever that item is, that's what I want my picture to be. So a lot of people say um, about centering, about centering. Um, that's the big part. You got to know what size you want your image to be. And then you might have to measure if you want it in the very center or something. You have to measure around the edges to get everything set up. But once you hit shift and frame, it'll it'll draw a line where it is. Everything inside of that line is where it's going to engrave. So make sure if you're trying to engrave on anything, you're trying to adjust the, um, the size. Make sure you use your width and your height buttons over here. So for this image, we're going to be burning... Um, speed, we're going to be doing 3,000. We'll drop it down to about 44 and a half for power. Um, pass through on. I'm going to use pass through. Well, you can use Jarvis and everything like that, but I changed my DPI. So it's a shorter burn time. We're going to go over here and preview it. We're looking at 5 hours and 7 minutes. We're going to invert it. And there we go. So I think it's gonna be an amazing burn. We got everything set up. Five hour burn, which is a great burn. Once our image, uh, once our canvas is dry, we're gonna start this amazing burn. So y'all do me a favor and stick around. If you like this content, go ahead and hit like, hit share, hit a comment. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. I'm telling you, it's gonna be a lot more things that I'm gonna be doing on the channel in the future. I'm even thinking about uh, uh, introducing you all to another laser I don't know yet I'm trying to work some things out but I I want to try a lot of different things um because some price ranges are not good for certain people so I would like everyone to be able to afford something and and give them the quality the quality work of whatever you know that laser can do so I'm uh, I might be uh reviewing the laser soon so y'all stay tuned once this drive we're gonna start this amazing burn Alright guys, our canvas is dry. If you're watching this channel and you're enjoying the content, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Today we're going to be doing Dale Earnhardt, and it's going to be an amazing burn. We're going to go ahead and hit shift and frame. Make sure everything lined up and it's looking good. Like I said earlier, I'm going to be trying some new lasers in the near future just to see if we can get uh, the same thing we're getting here with the Otor with other lasers and we're gonna try to do a step by step and help everybody if you need some help don't hesitate to hit my email southern smoke engraving at gmail.com I do answer and I do give you much help as I possibly can I appreciate y'all for, for watching my channel and supporting me we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers we're almost at 2,000 so we will get there we're on our way there with that being said, we're going to go ahead and start this thing. It's going to be an amazing burn. Y'all stick around to the end. It's going to be an amazing burn. I'm going to go ahead and start this thing. 